My name is Terry Mulder. Uh, I work at the content development part of Cruden and I develop the cars and tracks in a 3D environment uh, for the simulators. Well, we use a program that's called 3 ds View Max. Uh, then we just uh, take uh, you know, source data like uh, laser scans, CAD data or uh, work from scratch um, and just uh, start to uh, work from there to optimize it for our simulators. It varies along with the difficulty of the track. Uh, it can take between uh, a week or uh, three to four months to develop a track from scratch or uh, to an end result. Well, we make cars usually by getting the, the CAD data from the manufacturers themselves, uh, but we can also work from 2D photo, photographs or uh, blueprints of the car and then develop the car from there uh, to get something that looks nice and is also drivable in the software. We can get the uh, accuracy of the tracks pretty high. Uh, we nowadays use LiDAR data, uh, which is actually laser scan data, which they also use in Formula One. And we get it down to about millimeter accuracy on the tracks, uh, which is pretty high. And you can actually feel all the small bumps and cracks in the track, uh, which actually tells the driver to, you know, what part they're on and what the field of the track is, and then go do the real thing and say, hey, I, I know this, uh, I know how to drive this. And it's a big advantage for them. We have developed our own in-house software just to be more flexible to our customers. Uh, our customer constantly asks us to do small updates on the track or make small changes. Uh, and then we don't rely on external factors to make those changes. We can do it all in-house uh, at Cruden and uh, yeah, make, it, make it better. Well, we make a lot of things here at Cruden. Uh, we make uh, next to circuit racing tracks. We also make road tracks, uh, rally tracks, uh, rally cross tracks as well, um, cars, uh, ovals, uh, you name it, we make it.